All right, guys, we worked out a few weeks ago that we could line up a few public holidays and take a couple of days off, and we managed to snag 10 days to get away, so pretty lucky this time we're heading uh, we're heading northwest Queensland, so it's actually southwest for us, uh, being up in Cairns, but we're hitting a few cool spots. We're just uh, just passing through uh, Ingham at the moment, and we just turned on the road to head west, so stay tuned, it's gonna be pretty sick. A few places we haven't been before, we've got a couple of gorges to hit, uh, a couple of dinosaur trails and a few things like that. So yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be a fun couple of days. Stay tuned. come across a pair of emus in front of us literally just walking down the road in front of us in the middle of nowhere so this is pretty glamorous you don't see this very often <laughs> oh that's special guys we're here in Greenvale we're staying with our mates Steph and Jono they got a pretty sweet little shed set up and they've been living in a caravan in the shed until a little house arrives so today's the day it's here got arrived yeah, it arrived yesterday um, today's the day we start putting it up so I don't know if you can see the boys up the back on the nice little pad they've prepped we'll head up and have a look Progressing nicely with the house and very confused. We have no instructions and it's all China. So we are definitely making mistakes. Alright, so we're all hard at work working on the uh, container home. My wife is supervising. Hard day, love. Mm. I'm sleeping. Now we're having a lot of fun here. It's coming together a lot quicker than uh, than I thought. Pretty damn cool. So just pulling into this little spot on the Burdekin. Um, nice little spot here. It's actually just a trail crossing, but pretty sweet. Pretty sweet little spot to, to have a swim, so <laughs> I'm so keen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How's that for a little trail crossing? Pretty damn good spot. to uh, we're actually heading off today but these guys are gonna do a bit more work on this we've got a fair bit done yesterday as you can see it looks pretty bloody amazing all the doors in uh, we've got one internal wall in all the windows in worked out the wiring side of things the kitchen the cupboards that kind of stuff so it's pretty cool it is a bit of a mess at the moment obviously they're still building everything internally so we'll go for a quick walkthrough and wrap it up welcome front door MTV cribs it's gonna be the kitchen Front area, moving on to kids' bedroom in the back. I've got to put this internal wall in through here still, so they'll get cracking on that before they do the wiring. Front area is a study, so this is the other side of the container that folded out, split into two sections. Front area is a study, rear is the, uh, the main bedroom. Main to the back here, 
And we've got a pretty decent sized bathroom, so they'll be glad to use this after living in the caravan. Pretty damn good. Come to join us on the trip. Met up in Hewenden, he's got the BT50 rig. He's coming to suss out all these cool water tanks, the murals and stuff. Brito's doing a thing, getting the drone going. Me and Rabbi just hanging out. Good to see him again, it's been a while. Making some coffees, getting some shots of the oh that not getting some shots of the windmill. Uh, talking to some cops, some pretty cool cops, uh, and then we're gonna head to Porcupine Gorge Lookout and then straight through to Porcupine. So have to go for a swim. Pretty crazy. This wildlife. We've got a bilby and we've got a rabbit. <laughs> How's the pizza going? Looks like it's been on there for about 45 minutes. It's going well it's a black. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. That's good news. Tacos. Taco tacos. Tacos. What are we doing here? Do you want me to... Just smashed out some coals, some decent timber. Got a little bidgy barbie. These things are cool as they fold up. Just drop them straight over the coals. Let them warm up. Onions fry for a little bit and then we'll chop some mince on. Tacos!
Camp food. Love it. <laughs> also, we just packed up and left this morning. Uh, Pokemon Gorge is pretty, pretty bloody cool. There's a lot going on down there. Um, nice to walk down to the gorge and check it out. But we're now heading, uh, heading off to Mount Surprise via Ainsley. Check out another gorge or two. Uh, whatever we can find along the way. And hopefully we can stop and pick up some firewood along the side of the road. Got the chainsaw there, so I built a box for the back of the car to hold it all. So I'll just rip up what I can and throw it all in. It's a huge snake on the highway. Jesus! You're not interested in moving off the road, is he? We are at Copperfield Gorge and um, we just rocked up now to have a swim, have a feed uh, and then head off through to Mount Surprise once we're done. <laughs> it's nice and fresh. <gasps> oh, so graceful. <laughs> so it's quite shallow towards the falls. I think we'll be able to just walk up there. The temp of the water is beautiful. It's so good. Drive safe. Uh, so we'll see what the road's like on the other side, but it's it's awesome to see that. You're finished on that one, and Reeve, if you give this one a quick hit, and I'll let it go up here and see a man about a dog, and then probably get it uh, for much of this. <laughs> no worries, on my way. So it's, it's good to see that they, um, they're they on top of these roads and they take care of it because they are, they're so nice to drive. Yeah. put up at O'Brien's Creek Campground so it's about half hour out of Mount Surprise and it's on a beautiful station right on the creek um, full of cattle we've had what I believe is brummy cows I need to do a bit of research but massive bulls big humps on the back they were literally in our campsite two of them walking around and 
I got a little I got a little bit scared because they're they're so big, but I knelt down on my knees and tried to give one a pat and it literally just walked straight over to me. So yeah, that that was really cool. We've had a day of animals, animals. today. S massive big snakes on the road. Um I think we came across five emus, Brit heaps almost, of cattle. Brit almost rescued a duck. Oh yeah. A little that, that ducky. Was cool. Ducky this morning leaving Porcupine Gorge. But yeah, it's <laughs> it's been such an amazing day and now we're at this another awesome campsite so here for a couple of nights um we're gonna go check out Tallaroo hot springs snow i think it's back inland towards mount surprise and then we can go for a paddle around the creek that's here and if we feel like it we could even go foster king because the the um on-site caretakers here also hire out foster king gear which is pretty cool but for now tim's putting the fire on we're gonna start um getting ready to make a roast for dinner tonight so Are we cooking good looking? Yes, we are cooking. We are fucking roasting. Ow. Mm, look at that. Yes. Yeah, we'll do. doing this morning? Just cooking some brekkie in a beautiful place. I'm gonna put some pancakes on. Go and sit by the fire, down at the lake. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, so we've just uh, been to Tullaroo Hot Springs. It's 
it's amazing. This place is very, very special to these people and it's well worth heading out. If you're around Mount Surprise, anywhere in this area, get out to Tullaroo Hot Springs and check it out. The water is crazy hot, crazy hot, and there's some really cool stories to go along with it. Beautiful bit of country. Get out here and check it out if you can. Well worth it. Alright guys, we are on the way to Cobble Gorge today. So this place we've been wanting to come to for a long time, wanted to check out. Uh, heard a lot of good things about it. I haven't never been there yet. Uh, so we booked a few tours and whatnot. And we're heading off there. We're gonna catch up with some friends there. Spent three nights checking it out and exploring around Cobble Gorge, Georgetown area. So pretty excited for that. down at the pool, cobbled. So went on the gorge till this afternoon and now we're just gonna have a cocktail and take a dip. Alright guys, we are at Cobble Gorge, it's a killer day, we're heading up for a few drinks at the bar and I think me and James are going to grab some golf clubs and whack some balls around this beautiful lake, apparently they float and you can go get them in a kayak, so pretty cool setup we got. We have 11 balls that we have to go and find out here in the kayaks. It's gonna be a bit of fun.
It is our very last morning here on our whole camping trip and at Cobble Gorge and Jazzy and I are gonna go for a early morning sunrise canoe. It's probably about 15 degrees, nice and crisp, but why not? It's so peaceful out here. is over we're heading home just wrapped up cobble gorge which was a pretty pretty amazing spot did some stand-up paddle boarding through the through the gorge big bonfire played some aqua golf uh, pretty cool spot had a few beers and really relaxed so uh, really good way to end the trip <coughs> heading home five and a bit hour drive and we'll um, get into cleaning not looking forward to it the car is shocking absolutely shocking so it takes a while to get that get that wrapped up other than that thanks for watching <laughs>